This is it. This is the place. I can't believe you dragged me this far out of London. Get a lung full of this fresh morning air. Yes, with a hint of manure. It's the air of my childhood. Ah, and it brings back some memories. <laughs> so, we are finally going to see this famous childhood hideout of yours. Yeah, it would be nice to get away from the politics and the doom and gloom of the newspaper headlines. Besides, it'd be good for Bella. She could do with getting off her leash and having a good run around. I would have chosen a weekend away in Tuscany, not a ramble through the English countryside. How far is this wonderful place of yours, anyways? Oh, about an hour's walk. It's fairly secluded, and look, we have a beautiful day for it. Do you mind carrying the picnic camper? I promise it's not too heavy. A picnic camper? How thoughtful! I'm used to doing the heavy lifting in this relationship anyway. Did you sneak that picnic camper into the car when I wasn't looking? <laughs> I might have. Come on, let's get going. This is safe and sound in my pocket. Are you talking to yourself back there? That's the only way I can get an intelligent conversation around here. Hurry up, slow coach. Huh, this is it. This is the place. <laughs> okay, I can see why you love it. The manure-scented air, the rolling hills, the insects, the horrifyingly long distance from the nearest pub. Don't you worry. The hamper has everything we need. It's from Fort Miller Mason. <laughs> oh, really? Aren't I the luckiest girl in the world? I used to camp under this willow tree with my brother. During summer, we spent so much time up here, our parents had to send out a search party to look for us. Announcement from the BBC. Do you miss him? You don't talk about him much these days. I still don't understand why he just shut off all communication with the family. It's like he dropped off the side of the earth. A nuclear attack against this I guess he's ashamed of what he did. He is a proud man, your brother. I wish I could speak to him, but I don't know, I've almost given up hope. He won't return my letters or my calls. He declines my visitation requests. It's as if he feels he deserved to be in prison. I'm sure he will come around eventually. The most important thing is that he doesn't forget that you are his brother. Yeah, I guess you're right. Come on, let's let's talk about something more cheerful. I have something important to ask you. What was that? A nuclear attack against this country is currently underway. It sounds like Take a... cover at once. Oh my god. Look. Is that what I think it is? Don't look at it. Turn away. Take cover at once. If you are in your home, head to your designated fallout room. Oh my god. They did it. They really did it. Those headlines, they were true. We need to find cover. There's a there's a cave not far from here. Let's go. We'll figure out what to do. What about Bella? We need to find shelter now. We can't just leave her here. There's no time. Do not leave your shelter for any reason until the all clear has sounded or unless it is safe to do so. Further emergency details and instructions will be given through radio broadcast. I can't bear this place any longer. We can go to the cave mouth and have a look. We might even see Bella. Something tells me she is still alive. Before we go, I need to ask you something. Wait, there's somebody there. Bella? I... No, it sounds like human footsteps. Who's there? <gasps> I'm alone and unarmed. John? John? Is that really you? I walked here from London. <coughs> it 
It's awful. It's, it's so awful. This was the only safe place I could think to come. I thought you were in prison. They let all the inmates with commutable sentences go soon after the first bombs dropped. To think this place we used to be scared of as kids was the only safe place I could think of to come. Did you happen to see a beagle in the woods? I didn't see any dogs out there. And I wouldn't hold out much hope, to be honest. Oh, please, sit down, man. You must be exhausted. We have a radio, but the, uh, the information's so sporadic. Somebody dropped a 10,000 kiloton bomb in London. Every major city in England has been hit. Scotland and Wales seem to have been left out of it. How did you manage to flee London? We were out for a walk. We hid in the cave as soon as the bomb on London dropped. <laughs> what unbelievable luck. And you were spared the vision of hell out there. Rest, brother. Have something to eat. You could probably sustain several people for months down here if you don't mind the taste of cold, wet fungus. Get some rest. Tomorrow we'll, we'll make a plan to go further in. Good night, brother. It brings joy to my heart to see you again, even under these terrible circumstances. What's happened? He's dead. Died in the night. How? Um, acute radiation poisoning, I suspect. Skin under his shirt is heavily blistered. Looks like he might have drowned in his own blood. Oh, how awful. I'm so sorry. Must be far worse outside than we thought. Where are you going? I need to see it for myself. Then I'm coming with you. My God, look at it. How could they let this happen? Let's go back inside the cave. She's further inside the caves. Let's go get her. Before we go, I need to ask you something. Ask. Will you marry me, Charlotte? <sighs> of course I will, James. Until death do us part. Even in the face of this significant adversity, all of us at BBC one hope that you may stay alive and well after this crisis. May God bless us all.